Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I am extremely excited to be on the court today with Joey Burton and we have Ed Sumner who's playing with the Pacers. We are in Indianapolis at the factory and today Joey's going to walk us through the Kobe style post-up. Joey, what does that mean? One of the things that Kobe tends to do when he's post up, especially against smaller guards, is rather than just back him down and try and overpower him, he uses some footwork that allows his feet to get elevated and go side to side so that small guard won't be able to use their legs and arms to gain leverage, then allows him to pivot off of either foot when he lands onto. Huh. Well, show us that. I'm anxious to see what you mean. Okay, so Ed will be having the ball all right, and Ed is a, a big guard, so he has experience posting smaller guards up. And so traditionally, a lot of players will get the ball in the post, and they'll just try and overpower or back down that smaller guard. So we'll, we'll say Ed just backing them down. And this small guard is able to get underneath them and use their lower center of gravity to really try and stand a player up. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times players, after they take two dribbles, and they really haven't gained much ground, they either want to pass the ball out or sometimes it leads to a tough shot or a difficult shot that's off balance. And so one of the things that Kobe does is he will start to maybe back down initially, but then from there he's starting to take these hops side to side and working his way down so that the guard won't be able to get leverage. So as Kobe catches the ball, he might back down on the first dribble, but then he's hopping side to side trying to get into the paint or get to his shot, but it will provide him an opportunity to land on two mm -hmm. after a hop. Now he could use a shimmy and pivot either way. Absolutely. I think that's really important. One of the secrets of basketball I've always said is lifting both feet in the air at the same time and the variety of ways that it happens, uh, skip dribbles and here for sure in the post. So can we see some live? Yeah. Uh, so uh, Ed's going to show it live. So Ed's just going to come in, he's going to back me down, then he's going to start taking these hops and read me as I'm trying to guard whichever way he's going. Okay. One of the things that you could do off of it too when you land on two really provides a great opportunity for the step to remove. So when, we'll, we'll do this now Ed, so as you hop maybe back, you feel me, hop, land on two, and then come through with the step through, all right? Nice little step right. through there. Now we know that. he can jump off one foot if he wants to. Yes, He's gone through yes. This, but we'll, we'll do the two foot jump either way. But that was beautiful. Let's do that one more time. Let's see that again. Yeah. And then you can maybe even talk us through this. So. Yeah. So as Ed's starting to back me down, now he's going to get into these hops, which will force me to have to shift with his body. Okay. If I don't shift, he's going to be able to get space and get a much more efficient shot because he got space. Sure. Show us this real quickly. I'm kind of curious. As you're lifting that last dribble and you're now you're going to you want to end up in this position, right, where you're doing up and under. Yeah. What other progression can we get out of that besides the step through once you land like that with uh, either pivot foot? Well, one of the favorite moves I like to teach when a player gets into the paint and lands on two yeah. is just a little dirk fade, oh, nice. the one-legged fade, allowing that knee to drive up maybe provide a little bit of separation. separation from the defender trying to get back into your chest. Sure. Can we can we see that? Yep. Let me go. Oh my goodness. I got to tell you, you do that and you do the step through, the defender will never know what you're going to do at that point. Exactly. And again, it's all about lifting both feet in the air at the same time. Yep. And now once you land, again, just to stress this, you don't know show us that where you land and stop after you uh, pick the ball up. So, so you get your get your left big foot hop. Higher. Here. We don't know. He could use either foot as a pivot foot. So you can, you know, lift the right foot and shoot the jerk leg. You can show us do that. Now show us a step through. You can, oh, sorry, you can step through with the left foot, right? There's a lot of other things you can do off yeah. of that, which is yeah. great. So, and one uh, of the things uh, Kawhi really uh, demonstrated in the uh, championship run is when he was getting into the paint, a lot of times he was shot fake immediately when he landed on two. Uh, and that, I think, would provide better balance, patience, and guys really will jump on a hard, violent shot fake when you land on two. So that's another variation. As you land on two, just a shot fake could create many more opportunities sure. to get into different types of footwork. Let, let's just show us a shot fake and then maybe into a step through. Is yeah, that, what you, okay. that, that sounds shot good. Shot fake, step through. Let's see that. So same thing, bring him down to the baseline. 
Yeah, nice. Absolutely. I'm, I work on attack on the catch, mm -hmm. right? We talk about attack on the yeah. catch. So you know about splitting and going on the perimeter when you catch the ball, right? And the ball's coming, you go, and you go. Right. Split your feet. Same here. So you're posting up, you're posting up, and as the ball comes, you split here. So now the defender is behind, and as soon as that happens, you're, you're right into the shot. So you're doing all the work before the post up. So as like, if he's on this side of you, all of a sudden you're splitting here. Now, do I have to go this way? No, I can still go and do that, mm. right? Or I can split and then do my fade away. Yeah. You know, or I can split, step back. You know, I can yeah. do all those things. And meanwhile, the defender is not ready for you to attack on the catch. You want? Can you try that real quick for me? If I show that to you, drop, drop one foot back. Yeah. Right. So here comes the ball. Here, be on, be on this side a little bit. Yeah, okay. Ready? Yeah. yeah. So it's like. See what I did there? Yeah. It makes on the catch. Now do, do that on the other side. Right. Yeah. So now, so you know the, the, the drop step move everyone talks about? No one ever gets this yeah. on half of a dribble. I never did. I mean, but if I, if I do on the catch where I'm like this, you know, I'm, I'm getting there and the guy's not ready. Now he's behind. But by the way, again, I could go like this. I hear, throw it. I can go like that, you know, and now I could still get in here. Now, you can add this to the dribble real quickly. So if I get in here, I might go, I might go like that on the thing. I might go and then do that. Yep. You see what I did there? Yep. So I'm splitting, I'm, I'm coming in here, and I do that. Now I don't have to do that. I can go, I can go, you know, and go that way. But it's that same drop split yeah. on the catch. Yeah. That, and uh, when you're that close to the basket. That makes sense. So it's this, I'm doing what you're telling me to do, but yeah. just a little bit different sequence. Yeah. God, am I out of shape. <laughs>